Hello everyone, welcome to Mr. Tech Tuner. So today we're going to solve the last week or week six of technical support fundamentals. Basically in this week, there is nothing that much uh, informative. With the whole thing is about troubleshooting or the best practices as an IT uh, technical manager or IT support manager. So what should you do? How should you treat your customers? That's all the thing discussed in this week but we will go through our quizzes okay because you will not get the grade uh, without this quizzes uh, okay so the first question you see there's a lot large scenario given you're working in an IT support position and your user come to say and you can access uh, to online bank account so which will be the correct option uh, or answer so the best response would be can you explain to me in detail what you mean by not being able to access your online bank account but the specific part doesn't work okay so that's the answer scenario two uh, you should re read the scenario yourself but the answer will be isolate the problem to either the computer or the network we need to uh, differentiate the problem okay so that's it scenario three I'm not reading the whole scenario because these are like the stories so you will read the story by yourself and I will show the answer the answer will be ask the user when the last time when was the last time you were able to log in and what was the changed what has changed since then okay so that will be your answer uh, and you should always remember that you are in an IT support position okay okay so next last scenario you're working with a computer uh, that doesn't run or newly installed software currently okay so what what is the best step to take restart the computer and could be an issue of the software installation need to reboot or restart which will take about two minutes okay so that's all but we're going to our next quizzes which is about the customer service how you will deal with your customers more effectively the first three responses what's the difference between good and great customer service I wrote it in my simple words, attitude towards customer. You can write uh, whatever you think more precise answer. Okay, so there's a large story. Okay, so you should read the story first. And then you will try to get the uh, text, context of this uh, stem. Okay, so what the client is actually trying to say, what you are also trying to say. And then you will explain why you can't troubleshoot the issue part the company policy but give him some tips on what common issues could be slowing down his computer or he might do about fixing them okay so the third scenario that's also a large scenario you work for a company that requires a visual verification when resetting passwords the verification doesn't have to be done through your company account okay? so that's a long history so the correct answer will be ask the user if they have a personal account to use for Skype or such as the user does a video call with or you through their phone. Okay, for a user needs to reset their password and the IT support specialist is pulling up the necessary information while the user starts to take a bunch of questions. Why does password have to be capital? And a symbol why can't I write down it write it down right so there's a lots of blah blah questions so let the user know you are working on their issue and will be sure to answer all the questions when you are done that's it number five a user works and in to get an IT support office and then IT support specialist is a female uh, the user is male and there's also male IT support specialist in the room the user explains to IT support specialist his co-worker is on leave so he needs to access her files a female jail technician attempts to explain the policy which it doesn't allow for this give security issues okay so male user demands to speak with the male id support specialist to reach a solution okay so tell her that if the user is uh, tell the user that there is no difference in knowledge and understanding between you and your co-worker and there's not also matter the gender either is a male or female whatever we are going to next quiz which is about which is about writing effective documentation that's an important point okay so what you need to do here just write a whole bunch of story like this okay so they have told you that you should write a detailed instruction of how to make a peanut butter and a jelly sandwich to someone 
who never seen them before okay so uh, due to the Coursera policies I can show you the whole document and you can also you cannot copy and paste it either okay so what you need to do you can search in Google the how to make a peanut butter or so in that you will get to the website how to okay or wiki how uh, you will get the answers and then you can just copy paste from that or just uh, sorry I will not suggest you to copy and paste I will suggest you to paraphrase the words or lines for this you can use the website www.paraphrase2.com okay so if you want to see I will show you paraphrasing tool okay this is a free tool uh, which you can use for paraphrasing for uh, avoiding the plagiarism or course sort of policies okay so you just text and before after that's it okay so converting so that's the thing I also get 100% marks okay so that's it we'll go to our final quiz I think I don't think there's any final quizzes here okay so that's it so congratulations you have done your Coursera technical support fundamentals which is basically one course long one of the six courses of specialization technical so thanks and you should stay with Mr. Tech Turner for latest updates on the courses thank you and don't forget to subscribe